welcome my fellow medical people. Uh, today we are going to be looking at uh, touch surgery, basic skills, the arterial line. Um, thank you to Blue Stacks for being an absolute chad and allowing me to do this on the computer, which honestly is quite nice. So, basic overview, if this ever loads. An arterial line placement is a common clinical procedure used for accurate measurement of blood pressure. It allows for real-time assessment of blood pressure and allows for access to obtain samples for arterial blood gas analysis. It is usually inserted into the wrist of the non-dominant arm, the radial artery, but can also be inserted into the ulnar, brachial, femoral, and dorsalis pedius artery. Uh, the radial artery is most commonly used for two reasons, the consistency of the anatomy in its superficial position and the low rate of complications. Prior to the insertion of the catheter, the collateral circulation yeah, the collateral circulation must be assessed to allow for sustained circulation in the event of the cannulated artery is compromised due to complications. Collateral circulation is assessed through the use of Allen's test, firstly assessing the patency of the radial artery and then the ulnar artery. Next one. So the key objectives is going to be patient preparation, the insertion of the needle, insertion of the catheter, confirmation of arterial waveform, and stabilization of the catheter and dressing. Some key anatomy here, the radial artery is the most common site of the arterial catheter and is located in the interior lateral aspect of the forearm. It serves as an anatomical landmark, dividing the posterior from the anterior compartments of the forearm. Some indications, the procedure is most commonly implemented in the critical care setting when the blood pressure has adversely affected due to trauma or if continuous hypodynamic monitoring is required during surgery. Procedures also used to allow for immediate assessment of patients that are on vasoactive drug therapy. So we're going to just close that. We're going to begin. The first step to patient preparation is we're going to lay them in the supine position with the arm in the anatomical position on the arm board. Then, using your non-dominant hand, you're going to palpate the radial pulse proximal to the insertion site, and it's usually found lateral to the distal end of the flexor carpi radialis tendon. Now, we're going to check for collateral perfusion of the hand with Allen's test. And we're going to place a towel underneath the arm and reset the forearm to the anatomical position. This is to keep the volar surfaces of the arm positioned superiorly. Now we are going to grab that gauze, that swamp roll. It could be whatever you want, to be honest. We're going to get that antiseptic swab. And we're going to use the swab to sterilize the area around the radial pulse and apply it in centrentic circles. Concentric. See, it's there. I'm going to remove that. Um, and we're going to place the drape proximal to and distal to the sterile area. And if needed, a small amount of lidocaine can be administered for the comfort of the patient. Then I'm going to grab a sterile gauze. We're going to place that gauze distal to the pulse. And this will catch any overflowing blood from the needle insertion. We're going to select the catheter and needle assembly. And using your dominant hand, you're going to insert it. You're going to insert the needle at a 30 to 45 degree angle. Um, and directly. Directly above the pulse. And we're going to slowly advance. The needle until pulse at all blood flow is observed and the pulse is used as guidance. If there is no blood flow return, withdraw the needle and reattempt using a different trajectory or use the ultrasound machine to locate the artery. Now we're going to continue to insert this through the vessel. 
and we are going to remove that needle. And we're going to stabilize the catheter with our non-dominant hand. We're going to slowly withdraw this catheter until pulsatile blood flow is seen. Now we're going to select that guide wire, and we're going to advance the guide wire through the catheter until its distal end has passed through the catheter tip into the arterial lumen. And we're going to make sure the hub of the catheter is at the skin. We're going to remove that guide wire from the artery carefully, leading the cath leaving that catheter in place. So we're going to confirm that pulse-style blood flow through the catheter, and if there's no flow, insert the guide wire and into the catheter and reposition it and redo the rest of the steps. We're going to use that transducer system. And we're going to attach the catheter to the fluid-filled tubing of the transducer system, the monitor apparatus, and this is where we will confirm a good arterial waveform on the monitor. So right there, and we're going to do four non-absorbable sutures uh, for the placement of this catheter. And we're going to do that sterile dressing and place it directly over that site. Generally, when you do a catheter incision, or not incision, when you do a catheter in placement like this, um, it is better not to have the wire um, that catheter running directly out like that of the dressing because um, it can get yanked so it is advised to kind of roll that um, obviously not having any kinks in it uh, but roll it and place that dressing over it so that way you have less chance of having a complete tear out of that catheter and that was it uh, we're not going to do the test because I've already done this test um, but thank you for joining me uh, to learn the arterial line in basic skills.